It's Sunday night. I'm hopeful. Let's play a game I might actually enjoy. Izeon. Or Ixion. Or something on. Now, if you were hoping to play this game and you've already downloaded it, uh, you can navigate to the directory and launch it. It will launch. It won't launch from the uh, Steam uh, client, but as long as you have the Steam client open, um, you can launch the game. Uh, now, I've already played this game a couple of times, so we're just gonna gonna speed through this, and hopefully, I'll remember to add the music in post because it's actually got some good music. Shadow EMV Shell Sector One at night. Oh, jackass. So, so. The um the characters that you get exposed to are very unlikable. Um eating in your ear right off the bat is not a cool thing to do. I'm just going to power through the actual game here. Uh, I'm not going to show the intro. I'm not going to show pretty much um, any of the cinematics or anything like that because, you know, everybody in his dog is going to do that for you. But I'm just going to power through the opening here. And show you as much of the gameplay as I can with some tips and tricks and um, other stuff. I was going to make a joke, but I couldn't think of one. So that's the constructor. That's where your buildy guy comes out of. I'll put a. Uh, I can't put him there yet. I can put it here. Let's put it there. Cool. I guess you get that one for free. I didn't notice that the first time around, but most of the time you will have to build them. Uh, and we're going to put another one. Nowhere. We're just going to we're just going to unpause the game. There. Spacebar pauses the game. Any game that uses the spacebar to pause, I am up for that. Now this may take some time because our our buildy guy is going to going to take his time to get to get things done here. And uh, we started off with uh, some alloy, some iron, whatever anybody wants to call it, in the uh, shuttle bay, the docking port, whatever you want to call it. So, criticisms. One big criticism I have for this game is that for inexplic inexplicable reasons and at random, it will suddenly use 100% of the CPU. Even if it's sitting there doing nothing, and I really have no idea why. Uh, it could just be a bug, it could be that it's not optimized, but... Uh, could actually be something devastating too. We won't know until it's over. I like the sound design in this too. Uh, I'm big on sound design. intentionally trying not to uh, trigger the games. Oh, it already happened. I was going to say uh, uh, intentionally trying not to trigger the game's stages so I can get as much built as possible. So that I don't have to be restricted by Administrator, I have established a connection with Dolus's lead data scientist, Emma Klein. All of the corporate officers seem to be um, exceptionally evil. If, uh, I might actually show the outro because that's kind of telling. Is that full? Cool? No, I didn't build it. So maybe 
Maybe I'll put another one right beside it. Yeah, I'm gonna put another one right beside it. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna put another one right beside it. Construction. Menus are kind of good, even though I just seem to stumble for a minute. They're not uh, supremely bad. They're uh, relatively okay. Game reminds me uh, somewhat of um, Startopia. It's a game by Administrator. Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. And I don't care. I don't care. Go away. Go away. You're unlikable. Um, by Mucky Foot, I think it's called. It kind of reminds me of that. It's a circular station. You have sort of the same kind of modular design. Uh, let's get rid of this one so we can make it round again. All the little trucks come out. Uh, did we get rid of that one yet? No, I don't think so. So that's an event, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to trigger the event, but it looks like it auto-triggers. So, it may be difficult to game the system a little bit, but, uh, we're going to try to put things off as long as we can, so we can play as long as we can. Um, I think we only get one constructor. What happens if I try to put down another constructor? We do get a second constructor, okay. So this will help build uh, roads and stuff. Get rid of that one, 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 that one and that one. Uh, high priority. And then he'll go back home and build that one first. Although, he's got to go there first. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, this road. And... There we go. Get rid of that, too. And that one. And that one. So, the main character, or not the main character, the, the the guy behind the game, who's supposed to be the CEO or whatever, seems like a, a, a very uh, Elon Musk type, um, who talks about having a vision of the future, um, but ends up causing some horrible problems. Do this. And let's pause for a second. Uh, one thing that may not be immediately obvious, but uh, that I've been doing, is that you have to push these buttons to get the, the things to go. I might have mentioned that, but uh, it's one thing. Let's also preemptively um, queue some of these things. We need a science ship to progress. And I'm going to build two cargo ships, even though I think I only really need one. And that's because um, mining is not enabled. I would have liked to have seen some mining, but that just didn't didn't that didn't happen. It wasn't a priority. I'm gonna put another stockpile right here. Of some more stuff. Uh, where's housing? A little bit more housing. Now we've got room up here. 
Oop, I'm going to delete those two, those three road segments. Uh, I'm going to build a tech lab. Now, is that perfectly centered? I think. No, it's not perfectly centered, but that's fine. I like symmetry. It's absolutely not necessary in the game, but I like symmetry. So we do still have a lot of iron uh, on the map and in the thing of lobbers. Yeah, yeah. I'll build a refractory. That's fine. Uh, we'll talk about what a refractory is in a second. Oop, here we go. Now, I want this to be iron, and I want this to be... Uh, what do I want this to be? I want this to be food. No, I don't want that to be food. I want that to be... Uh, let's just put it to... Um, Polymers. Get rid of those things. See this one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of this um, construction bay, and I'm gonna put food there. That's where I want that to be. Now that this one's full of, uh, this stockpile is full of. Uh, I'm just gonna keep calling it iron. I can turn it off, but that means I can't get any iron out of it anymore. But the iron stays there. It doesn't uh, disappear. And I don't think it degrades, so that's a, a very good option to save on power. And I think originally these two little hash marks here, um, if you went over them during certain parts of the game, you didn't... Uh, uh, you suffered a brownout. Uh, but we haven't suffered a brownout yet. Okay, we're going to get these ones here, too. Oh, and uh, I'm going to grab that storage right there. We're going to get rid of you. Let's just do that. Oh, I'm, I'm making my ship. See the ship back here? That's coming up slowly. A bunch of surely. Uh, now, I haven't used health at all. At all, at all. But I'm going to build one anyways because it's eventually going to ask me to. Oh, I forgot to queue up some research. And the thing that we need is an airlock right there. Uh, we can research a probe launcher as well, but I don't think there's anything to... there's, an, there's nothing to find in the, the Earth's solar system, so I don't see what the point is. And let's send our spaceship... Oh, uh, no, we won't do that yet. We'll go into the overview over here, and our spaceship will go to the moon. And we'll do our research project on the moon. Because that'll give us research points. Science ship has arrived at destination. Let's grab some iron. There. Now that'll take a certain amount of time. This is the outside of our ship. It's not a station. It looks like a station, but it is a ship. It's a cool looking ship. Okay, so you I am going to uh, get rid of. Bye-bye. And I'm going to build a uh, storage place. Now we are going to need to start powering down a lot of things because... A science ship team has completed a task. Thank you. Uh, because once we get the EVA thing out there... Um, okay. Grab that. 
that's going to take however long. I'm not reading any of the uh, flavor text because they don't really matter. They're more annoying than anything. I think something like this um, is much better used, uh, much better as a um, like an open-ended game like uh, Startopia was. Anything else to build? I don't think so. Build food in a second. Build food right now. Food. We can build another docking bay, but that's not going to really do much. We'll build a docking bay just to look at it, I guess. Is that enough space? No, wait a minute, I can't build it. I need chips to build it. That's right. So, if I pause... Oh, I can do it in this menu. You can see that there's a... There's a, a little thing of... Like a CPU. Three CPU. You can't make it in the demo. So... Um, there's nothing we're going to be doing with that one. Science ship done? The science ship is done. So, we're going to go to Mars. Oh, go away. And the fleet will tell you to pick up iron and will tell you not to pick up wheat yet because we're not at that stage. Is it? Why aren't you collecting any? Go collect. Collect. Oh, I forgot to click on the button. <laughs> so, uh, I think I've already shown how to move things, but I'll do it one more time. Administrator. I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Archibald. Yeah, we don't care. Bonjour. That is such a fake French accent, by the way. Oh. This tells us what stuff is happening. Oh, airlock's been unlocked. So, we will grab structures, EVA. Now, here comes the fun part. To be able to have enough power to run that thing, we're going to need to shut um, the research down. Because if we don't, we'll be over budget. Um, we'll trip the breaker and uh, be forced to wait a certain number of seconds to uh, before we can power back up. But with EBA almost done, come on, you can do it. Come on! Oh, let's put a little road down here for symmetry. Oh yeah, I forgot. We need a few more houses. at some point they're going to want to expand. Okay, so this is done. Let's deconstruct that. There we go. Turn these back on. There. Just so we can have more uh, throughput. Build a second food thingy. Is that done? That's done. Okay, we're going to go outside and we're going to start building um, so that gives us 
one power. Oh, we don't even have 200 polymers, so that doesn't matter. I guess we'll just build the first one. And that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to be a bunch of solar panels. Yep. Uh, oh, it doesn't show us the jump drive yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. See, we're just... Oh, crap. We're about to... Glad I saw that. We were just about to go over the our power limits. So let's shut down. Ooh, what are we going to shut down? Um, no one's using the hospital, so we'll shut that down. We will shut down those two stockpiles for now. All one, so I think that's more than enough for now. Yeah, that's more than enough for now. Now, as you can see here, because I shut it down, I think I think that's it. I think we have waste there now. Yeah, I think that's waste because I shut. I shut it down while it had science in it, so I guess some of the science has gone bad. We're going to have to store that waste science somewhere. And it looks like our, our solar panels are done. So let's get the second set of solar panels up, which is just another row. There we go. And we can turn on our stockpiles again. How much do we have here? Oh, we got more than enough, I think. Yeah, we got more than enough. What's about to be built? Three. Uh, 66, 67. Ooh, that's pretty close. We'll hold off. The little guys that you see walking around, that's just um, decoration. Yeah. See, there it goes. It's using 100% of the CPU and slowing right down to nothing. It's just going to take a few seconds for it to decide what it wants to do. There. And it uh, clears up for no reason. Oh, it's the pathing, I think. Oh, I think all of these little guys here, they all have individual pathing. That must be the problem. Yeah, so when I when I got rid of the um, the streets, that's when it uh, that's when it slowed down. And I think it's because even though these guys don't do anything in the game, they're just uh, uh, they're just for decoration they have paths like they, they have AI paths that they're choosing and that's what's causing it to slow slow down to nothing I think I can turn this on now yeah. and our spacey ship is uh, where we want it which is on Mars I don't know. Let's just go for that one. Ship has not been assigned. Ah, whatever. Can I... How do I assign it? Is that how I assign it? Oh, I assigned it up here. Uh, let's go for you. Get going. Bye. be reactivated and this will be waste there is waste there is waste and there we go and 
And we can do this, uh, this quest because we've already got the staff and everything all sorted out. So now we have 105 workers. We have more than enough places. Why they would be releasing steam or smoke or whatever into the, the main living space, I, I don't know. We're also getting down there, so start removing some of these stockpiles. Now, you can get into um, a loose state in the tutorial if you use up too much polymer. Um, you can't finish the last part of the game. Uh, so I'm not going to make the last uh, solar panel. Oh, science ship has completed its research. Great! And it's got to keep going. Yep. So I actually have to unload the science. If I were to move my ship first, uh, the science would just sit there. And we probably have enough to do the last piece of research, which is the probe launchers. Almost out of stockpile food. This is the ship that gives us food. And I don't think there's anything else to explore in this in this um, in this solar system. I've sent a couple probes here and there, but I don't really do nothing. Oops. Oh, is it done? Okay, it's done. Let's uh haul our asses over to Saturn. That's the final uh, mission. Get back over here. I will I will build the, the probe facility just to look at it. There we go. What does it look like over here? Let's put it over here just so we can look at it. Instead of looking at the reverse side. And that's also going to bring our um, metal reservoir down. So we will clear out this stockpile. Oh, there we go. We're out of food. So let's start requesting food from the ship. Yeah, we know. Greetings, I'm Mr. Yeah, I'm Dr. Really Rabinovich. Don't, don't, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Bye. Upgrades and technologies? Unfortunately, we can't do any of the upgrades uh, because they're all locked. So if I go to the the tech tree, everything is locked. It says that I need um, something. Science ship has arrived at destination. Okay, just give me a sec. Anything else? Nope. Everything's locked. So, it told me about it, but it didn't give me access to it, so, whatever. So this is the final um, mission, which makes us think that something is amiss. Because it talks about another uh, reading from one of these jump drive things. The Dacios drive, or, oh, the Vol drive. But uh, maybe somebody's beat us to it. Maybe not. There's the full drive. Go.
There's also water in the game, but we haven't had to collect any water. And you also can't destroy the ships that you've already built. They just exist. of preparation, calibration, and verification were successful. You must now start the full binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council founder. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you like have managed dick. to... I don't care. I don't care. He looks like a dick. Let's finish this mission first, over here, I think. Yeah, it's almost complete. The EP EKP drive. Now we can move around to other uh, planets to get closer to them, but there's no real point. Plus it shuts everything down. I guess we don't need to do anything, so I guess I can move the ship. So I can select the ship, and let's say we're going to move it. Select the ship. Select the ship! Oh, there. Yes. Bye-bye! And for some reason, we're going to fly really, really, really close to the sun. But while we're moving, nothing works. Everything is shut down. I guess we don't need food in this state either. But uh, we get stuff back afterwards. A science ship team has completed a task. Can we see the... Oh, we can! Do the flyby of the sun. Whoosh. That was nice. Okay, so we've done our task. And... Whatever. And now we're just collecting our science points. I'm also assuming that our distance from the from the refuel ship will um, will make us getting make us make it so getting food is slower. Hopefully they'll add something to this part, because it's kind of boring just sitting here and looking at red lights for how long it takes to, to move. And there's nothing more to do with science. And we should be parking in orbit, like, right now. Oh, it wants me to move to the moon. Yeah, so... Moving here was useless, but I'm not going to move back to the moon. We're just going to sit in orbit. We're going to get to orbit first. I guess it takes time to get into orbit. What are you doing? I guess it's in orbit now. Oh, it is in orbit. So... Yeah, the last part of the game is if you move to, uh, if you're in um, uh, lunar orbit and you go to leave, you blow the shit out of the, out of the moon. At this point, there's nothing to do. I can construct a probe. And we can launch one, but it's just not going to do anything.
Okay, so now we have a probe finished, and we can select a probe. And let's fly it into the sun, because... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't... Okay, so there is... But I did look at that. Well, let's just go over here. Oh, there is something over here. Oh, look at that! I didn't know this worked. Oh, yeah! Okay, let's go over here. Get out of my way. Where's that bullshit thing? There it is. Oh damn. How am I going to get rid of that ship? Because you can't destroy ships. Dun da da da! Look at that. Something more I could do. Outer hope, out of sight. <laughs> Is there, is there more spaces? Okay, let's make some more. Let's make some more probes. Oh, content I haven't seen before. I guess I get only one place to look at. That sucks. And I can't even look at it. Whoa! You are breaching the terms of your contract with whoever the goddamn person is. Create temporary easement. Okay. Um... Okay, I didn't know this was in the game! Uh, the sole purpose of this facility is to let to continue with the development of the most high classified projects far away from the prying eyes of the competitors and the media conglomerates of Earth. Do you not realize that the whole world is watching you at this moment and that your interaction here stands to jeopardize... Yes! I want to expose some corporate crap! Um... Okay. Go send stuff. Oh, look! I get I get chips. I get computer chips. And I'm going to send you. Yes. Go go go. I didn't know this was in the game. But I can't. There's nothing more. That's it. That is it. That's it. I kind of knew that if... If you could build a probe, there had to be a reason to be able to build a probe. And uh, I guess that was to find this. Okay, what the hell? Oh, I'm starving myself out because I'm too far away from the, uh, from the moon, so let's just go back to the moon. Now, does he jump over there, or does he have to go back? Nope. So he... The, uh, he gets jumped all the way back here, so. Oh, I, I haven't heard, I haven't seen this one yet. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. 
Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Already done it. Just done. Okay, so I just I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. Okay, is that it? I guess that's it. I would have really liked to have been able to uh, do some mining, but I guess that's not going to happen. And if I go to, to Proxima, what's wrong here? Oh, it's full. That's what's wrong. Okay, so I'm going to switch this to chips. And I've gotten a dick ton of food for some reason. Okay, so this is an important thing. The dock can only bring in one resource type at a time. Now it's giving us 10 chips, so I'm, I'm assuming it wants us to build another dock just to, just to do it. So let's just do it. Build another dock. We're not going to have enough uh, ore, though. What's this? Yeah, we're not going to have enough ore, and I don't think they're—I don't think they're going to give us any ore. Let's just see if I can if I can uninstall a panel. Nope. Once it's built, that's it. Plus that panel will only give us like 50 things. Yep, that's it. So and there's no mining. I tried hard to, to figure out mining and you just can't. So, let's blow up the moon. Uh, how do I do that? Start full jump, okay. Use the button to start the full jump. Ready. There you go. Let's go and let's watch us blow up the moon. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. 
we have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the Vol Engine.